One of my favorite memories about Birdo is down in Topeka, we played in a tournament. It was just a one day tournament. Uh, we were getting beat, but it was towards the end of the day. He uh, got really mad at himself. He ended up tossing his glove up, kicking it like a punter would in football, and just walked off the field. He was pretty upset about it. Uh, Rebe was on our team, and he told Birdo, calm Birdo down a little bit, calm his little Mexican name that he usually calls him, and we go take the field in the very next game. We end up winning the tournament, I believe. Um, the greatest thing about that is that Birdo is such a firecracker. firecracker. Um, he's very passionate with everything that he does, not just softball, but in life. He's always there for somebody. He's a really good friend, and if you ever needed somebody just for anything, a few bucks here and there, um, just a pickup player, somebody to hang out with, Birdo was the guy. Birdo would usually never turn you down. One of my favorite memories of uh, Birdo and I's friendship was uh, last year we went and play, or excuse me, we went to um, Wrigley Field and sat in the bleachers when they played the Cardinals. Um, it was on a Thursday, I believe the date to be exact was April 16th. Um, one of my fondest memories, one of my last memories of being able to spend with Birdo. Um, it was just a blast, man. We left early that morning, had a great time all day, ate at Wrigley, or uh, Harry Carey's, went and uh, sat in the bleachers, had a bunch of good times. Uh, one of my fondest memories at the game was Soriano did one of those to us and threw it up, threw a ball up there, and I reached in front of him and took the ball. And still to this day, I have the ball. Um, that ball will never go anywhere else. That'd be one of my all-time memories of him. One of my favorite memories of Birdo would be when we go and work out at the gym, like all of us as a group as friends. And some of us would feel tired, or feel like we weren't getting to work in. He'd always there, be there to remind us that, you know, we're not done. We're not done finished with the work. We gotta put the work in if we wanna be out here and be competitive. And he's one of the best competitors I've ever played with and against. And I'll never forget that. Este Alberto era un, un, un gran amigo mío, excelente persona. Lo voy a, a extrañar mucho. Se la pasaba mucho en mi casa. Iba mucho para mi casa y lo extrañé cuando cuando sucedió esto. No, no creía que iba a partir tan rápidamente. Um, tuvo el viernes. Hasta, uh, tuvo todo el viernes, toda la semana estuve en la casa antes que haya, haya pasado este accidente y no son como palabras, pero era un excelente, una, buena, una bella persona, un excelente amigo que lo voy a extrañar mucho. My favorite memory of Birdo will probably be uh, a week or two before he passed last year. We uh, went to Logansport and played and just the kind of guy he was. I was short on cash because I'd, we weren't really working that much and he was more than happy to pay for my meal when we stopped on the way home and we just sat there and chatted and I sat next to him and just those good times that I miss of us all sitting around after games and between games where we joke around with good friends. He'd make plays that that a lot of people, you know, some people couldn't make at second level. It made it look so easy, so fluent. And then we'd throw a ball down, he'd catch the ball and he'd just kind of look at you with this grin, this little Birdo grin, you know and he'd flip you the ball and he'd just quite back to work. One of my favorite memories of Birdo is the night we had uh, my wife's master's graduation party. And it was just us three and a couple other people and we were sitting there talking the whole night long. And that's when me and Kathy became friends with Birdo. He became Birdo our friend rather than Birdo just a guy I played softball with. And that friendship is gonna last a lifetime. I'll never forget that night. And that's when me and him just started clicking and it was good from then on. He was always concerned about others. He went out of his way a lot to do nice things for other people. Um, for example, um, this was it was really late at night, it was probably 10 o'clock at night, and one of his um, co-workers from work, you know, called him up, needed a last minute ride to Chicago, and um, he actually, he had something he had to do, something for school or whatever, but um, this, this guy was in dire need of a ride, and so he... He put all of his, whatever he was doing, his homework, whatever aside, and at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, you know, picked this guy up and took him all the way to Chicago, and he didn't get home until, you know, like 3 o'clock in the morning, and he had to be up at work. He had to be at work at like 6 a.m., and that's just the kind of things that he did for people. He always went out of his way for people. I remember to Alberto, he's, um, he stayed in my house every day. He's played to my brother, PlayStation, and... When I use the computer, and I say, Alberto, can I use the computer? He say, no, sit down with me. Okay. 
three hours later, Alberto, can I use the computer? No, this is my play. I wanna play. Okay, Alberto. Next, next day, he's going to my house. Alberto, can I use the computer? No. Okay. Alberto, can I use the computer? No, sit down with me. Every day, every day. Very funny. I, I, I miss you, Alberto, all the time. He's my best friend, my brother, and he stay in my heart. Yeah, my favorite memory of Vero is always we, when we play soccer, we always make fun of people, and we never can play you, God, for that reason. And we were, last year when he was alive, we started to do exercise. God, I wanted to play softball with him. So I was really close to him. And I'm 20 years old, and one thing he told me too when I started to be 21, we want to go to the bar in Chicago. So I was really happy for that because he told me, he told me that. And I really miss him. And everyone plays soccer, it's not the same. He was always there for me. We were, like I said, we were together for seven years and we didn't have the greatest breakup but you know about a year passed and I knew that no matter what I could always count on him and I just miss him being there for me and I, I miss I miss his friendship. <laughs>